It's the 15th of January, 2022, 4.47 p.m. local time. It will start any moment. Here, do you feel these jolts? The South Pacific is about to experience one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions ever recorded by modern instruments. The eruption begins at Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapi, an underwater volcano in the Tongan archipelago. The eruption itself is enormous. Its volcanic explosivity index is at least VEI-5, with the maximum being 8. It's as powerful as such historic catastrophes as Mount St. Helens in 1980 and Mount Vesuvius in 79 CE. The eruption releases a staggering 2.4 cubic miles of volcanic material and sends over 150 million tons of water vapor into the stratosphere. This amount of water vapor would have been enough to fill 58,000 Olympic swimming pools. Additionally, the eruption generates the fastest underwater currents ever recorded and triggers large tsunamis that struck areas as far as Peru, more than 6,200 miles away from the volcano. And it takes at least four lives, with even more missing. But the craziest thing is that just before the eruption, 15 minutes ahead of time, there was a kind of warning. But as it often happens, people simply miss them. Two seismic stations, about 466 miles away from the volcano, which is pretty far for this kind of thing, picked it up. They figured out it was a Rayleigh wave, which is a type of seismic wave that moves along Earth's surface. This wave was caused by a fracture in the ocean floor, where magma and seawater started to interact under a lot of pressure. That's likely what triggered the eruption. The crazy thing is that normally, volcanic seismic signals are pretty small and can only be detected close to the volcano. But this Rayleigh wave traveled way farther than usual and was much stronger. It means there had to be a massive amount of movement going on beneath the surface before the eruption. While people on the ground didn't feel it, those distant sensors picked it up. And this discovery is great for identifying volcanic threats earlier in the future and for improving early warning systems. If scientists can detect these seismic precursors, they could give a heads up before an eruption happens. That would give people time to evacuate and reduce the chances of injuries or property damage, especially for underwater volcanoes like this one, which can also trigger fatal tsunamis. Now, the eruption was big, but its impact was mostly contained. However, this discovery underlines how important seismic data is for predicting and preparing for these disasters. Even though this precursor wasn't used to issue a warning during this eruption, the idea that we could use this kind of information in real time during future eruptions is really promising, especially for underwater eruptions, which apparently might give us more warning time than we thought. Even though we wouldn't have been able to hear that precursor warning signal, there is a sound so loud it could actually finish you. And while such sounds are incredibly rare, the loudest noise ever recorded was indeed fatal to those who were close enough. On 27 August 1883, the eruption of the Krakatoa volcano in Indonesia created the loudest noise ever measured. It's thought to have been an astonishing 310 decibels at the source. To put this in perspective, a hand drill produces the sound of 98 decibels. The noise produced by a jet engine measures 140 decibels. And the sound of 180 decibels is capable of destroying your hearing tissue. So, the sound Krakatoa produced reached more than 170 decibels at a distance of 100 miles. And sailors aboard a ship just 40 miles from the eruption had their eardrums burst from the sound. The explosion's reverberation was so powerful that it was heard 3,000 miles away. In fact, at a farm in Alice Springs, Australia, over 2,200 miles away, sheep farmers reported hearing what they thought were gunshots. The sound from Krakatoa traveled around the world multiple times. Although no one heard the explosion beyond 3,000 miles, spikes of atmospheric pressure were recorded in places as far away as Canada and England. Those must have been the sound waves produced by the eruption traveling around the globe. 
Sound above 150 decibels can potentially cause life-threatening harm. In particular, sounds between 170 and 200 decibels can result in lethal conditions, including burst lungs. Anything over 240 decibels could cause fatal injuries, and you don't even want to know what those are. I'll just say that those sometimes happen to cartoon characters, but rarely to people. The scientific explanation behind this is that sound is essentially a wave of pressure, which can travel through both solids and liquids. And in the case of an incredibly loud sound, pass right through the human body. If the pressure from such a sound is high enough, it can rupture eardrums and internal organs, causing significant and often fatal damage. Now, you probably know how volcanoes sometimes have small earthquakes before they erupt. Well, they often produce this weird sound called a harmonic tremor. The sound kind of hums, and the frequency of the hum gets higher and higher until it suddenly stops just before the volcano erupts. The sound has been recorded at a bunch of volcanoes around the world. But the thing about Redoubt Volcano in Alaska is that its tremor is so intense, people can actually hear it. It's like the volcano is letting out this crazy scream right before the eruption. According to a geophysicist at the University of Washington, the frequency of Redoubt's harmonic tremor is so high that it is barely perceptible as a low bass hum and that's at its highest pitch. All because the pitch of Redoubt's tremor exceeds that of any other recorded volcano. It questions the limits of the existing models used to explain these phenomena. That's why researchers had to propose a new model to account for these unusually high-pitched tremors. Most volcanoes produce sound when magma bubbles vibrate as they rise through cracks in Earth's crust. But in the case of Redoubt, Scientists believe that the harmonic tremor and associated earthquakes occur when magma is forced through a narrow opening under immense pressure. The thick magma sticks to the rock surface inside the conduit, a channel or a pipe that carries magma from a reservoir or chamber to the vent. As the pressure builds, the magma moves upward. This makes it stick again until the pressure forces it to move once more. These sudden movements cause small earthquakes which, as the pressure increases, occur more rapidly and blend into a continuous, rising noise. So it's actually the rocks making the sounds. This new model is important because it could help scientists better understand the eruptive cycles of volcanoes like Rita. It could also serve as a limited early warning system. By the time Rita began to scream like this, the volcano had already been erupting for a few days so the tremor might only provide a few minutes or hours of warning before the next explosion. The harmonic tremor at Redoubt reaches an extremely high frequency, then falls eerily silent before the volcano erupts again. This pause occurs when the earthquake activity slows down and the two sides of the fault slip smoothly against one another. Maybe that's when even earthquakes can't keep up anymore. The new model may also apply to other volcanoes, such as the Soufriere Hills volcano on the Caribbean island of Montserrat. The research team is now planning to investigate why the pressure at Redoubt is concentrated in one specific spot. To move ahead in their research, the scientists have created two recordings of Redoubt's seismic activity. The first, a 10-second recording, compresses about 10 minutes of seismic sounds and harmonic tremors, sped up 60 times. The second, a one-minute recording condenses roughly an hour of activity, including more than 1,600 small earthquakes that had occurred before Redoubt's first explosion with harmonic tremor. These recordings could provide crucial insight into the dynamics of volcanic eruptions and the signals that precede them. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.